What's up guys, the Panthers here and welcome to Fatal Knockout Stages. I am playing against a huge gorilla today who scraped a very lucky win in round one. You gotta be honest, like a couple of rebound goals, some poor goalkeeping, like his keeper made some wonder saves. All in all, I was just unlucky to come out of that game with a loss. Um, so we tried something a bit different for today's episode. We're gonna go more attacking and go five at the back and do our best to, um, you know, get back into the game. Now, if you want to check out Huge Gorilla, link is in the description below. Of course, he is the world number one in Ultimate Team. It was always going to be an uphill task. I think rules were set for him to be in Fatal to make it more difficult for him because of how good he is. And, and you'll see by his, you know, his. you're about to see him destroy me again. Uh, there's no two ways about that. Um, I think in the next Fatal, more difficult rules need to be set because he's got an exceptional team and he's an exceptional player. And it's basically next to impossible. I think the only person that I think will potentially beat him in Fatal is Bateson. And that's just because Bateson's practiced a lot against him. Bateson's played like 20 or 30 games against him. And he's beaten him, I think, once or twice. So there's that mental kind of, um, you know, Gorilla's got a little bit more pressure on him when he's playing against Bateson. Um, we've gone for a five at the back team this time. Honestly, like, his attacking play is just unbelievable. Like... It was really unfortunate for me to get him in the first round. Like, like even if I'd met him at any point, he would have beat me. But it would have been nice to have gone a little bit further before before meeting him. But somebody had to play him, and of course, it falls on me. All I'm trying to do here, genuinely, the first time I ever played Gorilla, he beat me eight nil. The second time I played him, which was the last game that you would have seen on his channel yesterday, he beat me seven nil. So anything like six nil or better. And I'm improving. I'll accept that. So that's kind of what we're looking for here. This is my team. Drop a thumbs up on the video. Let's get into the action. Okay, guys, into the game we go. And you're about to see Gorilla's team. So he's got a team with two legends and nine blues. And as, as I explained uh, just at the intro of the video, um, you know, that, that's no handicap, really, is it? Um, what you're going to see, I might show the full game. I'm probably going to get a little bit salty just because I don't like losing. I know he's a better player than me. I know I probably won't win the game. I'm not in with uh, any kind of chance. And just off that alone, I'll probably get a bit salty. Um, it's not salty towards Gorilla because I know he's an exceptional player. You know, he's, he's won uh, Gfinity tournaments for a reason. Uh, he's, he's regarded the, as the best foot player of all time for a reason. And um, he's essentially just like impossible to defend against. And uh, you'll see here just with the, the skills and tricks in the box, I, I, can't, I just can't get close to the ball. I've got three defenders around him and I just cannot get close to the ball. Two minutes in, I haven't even touched the ball yet. And uh, we find ourselves a goal down. So not the best start to the game. Um, hopefully we're going to be able to uh, get a few chances of this game. Even if I could score one goal would be, uh, would be quite nice. Let's try and pop that one into the box. We've got a good run in there. Boom, there's ooh, almost... Oh, that's a good ball. Is that a pen, ref? Ref? No pen? That's a good tackle. And uh, we're going to get a throw in. So I've put some pressure on straight away. One of the biggest things that I've noticed with Gorilla and, and that I've seen with, you know, from playing against him and from, uh, from watching him so much is he is just utterly clinical. Like uh, every chance he gets, pretty much he makes into a goal. So it's going to be super, super difficult for me to do anything with the ball. But we have got a chance here. Jonas is chipping the keeper. And van der Sar makes the save. We almost get straight back into the game. I didn't really have many options on what to do there. So I took the one that I thought would be the best. And the ball goes into the box there. And van der Sar with another big save. And th this, is, this is where the problem's like, what is my where is my defence? I'm five at the back. Oh, and and th there we go again. Oh, Julio Cesar with a save. You don't see him miss those often. We could have been 2-0 down. It could have been 1-1 a couple of times. We actually created a fair few decent opportunities. But um, he's just so quick to read the play. Come on, EA, don't give him that. Oh, come on. I had one of those goals in the first game where the keeper parries into the net. That's just so, like, that's, that's hard to take, those goals. You know, like, obviously, he's, he's got a lot of goals where he just outskills and outplays. But so much luck in the goals as well. So much luck involved. And, and, and it's, it's a little bit difficult to swallow that pill of bad luck when you're already playing against the world's best. And it just makes it impossible to read, impossible to get any kind of like ideas on what's coming and what's next you know it makes it really difficult to do anything with but we've got another chance here we've got a man over at the far post as well that's not the ball that i wanted i wanted the ball to go to the far post diego with a good interception to do anything effective against gorilla so uh, we might we might be resorting to some uh, to some long shots maybe we'll get in on the angle here here's maxwell who's got a good opportunity 
I've got a corner out of it. I was, I was going to try and cut in and, and hopefully get myself a, a good chance. We're going to whip this one in with Hulk. The ball's there. Miranda's there. Miranda with a header. It's gone over the barn. The difference right now between me and the number one world player in FIFA, in, in FIFA Ultimate Team specifically, is finishing. He's had literally three chances, I believe, and created two goals. I've had like four chances. I have no goals. I have nothing to show for my four chances other than some shots on the score sheet. So, uh, and that's all he knows how to do. So I don't necessarily think he's going easy on me. But with that being said, it might well be the case. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can just get a goal. One, one goal would be a genuine achievement. And we're through here with Diego. We've got an opportunity. There's the ball cut back into Jonas. Nothing doing. Absolutely nothing doing. I'm just going to have to bite on this one. Oh, wow. I thought I actually had the other defender. Boom. Read that. Miranda, get in, lad. There we go. We've got another counter-attack of dreams on. And we are putting some pressure on here as well. His defense is nowhere to be seen. Here we go with Jonas. Jonas gets into the... See, he's defending really well. Is that not foul ref? He is defending well, but his, his team's like quite open. And I wonder if it's because of my... Uh, Oh, don't give that to him there. wonder if it's because of my custom tactics. In the first game, I had no custom tactics on. In this game, I've put some custom tactics. I didn't think they were allowed, but I guess uh, the fact that he did them, I guess they are allowed. I guess it was just my bad for not realising. Not that it's making much of a difference, but it could make a little bit of a difference. It could make all of the difference in some instances. We're 40 minutes in. We're only 2-0 down. I've, I've arguably created some decent chances as well, just unable to actually make anything of them so far in this game. And we'll see, that's a really good ball. And that, that's where he's just too effective. That's gone out for a goal kick. He's just too effective in those situations, you know. He, he sees plays that I see about a second later or sometimes half a second later. And although you're probably thinking half a second isn't really that much time, in FIFA, the way these plays go, half a second is everything, man. Half a second is absolutely everything. So we're going to try and not penalty, no penalty, no penalty. There we go. Great defensive qualities. Really bad outplay there. I'm, I'm not really getting the ball out like I was 10 minutes ago in the game. That's not a foul ref. Come on, man. That's terrible play. <sighs> right. Is he going to try his little free kick yet? So he's going to try his little free kick. He's going to run one. He's going to run two. And then he's just going to pass it down here. And we're going to be standing right there to take it. See, I'm wise to it. The more I play him, the better I become as a player. Just because of the fact that, yo, you, you wish you'd be in Hulk there. Come on, bro. Who is this? Felipe Luis against Hulk. Put a good ball in. That is a great ball. The header. Oh, my defense, my attacker's just not there. He's nowhere to be seen. He's just running rings through me. He's just running through me like it's nothing. That is beautiful defending. I tell you what, I'm defending better this game than most... Oh, I say that and then I, I literally gift him the ball. Half time there, guys. 2-0. Um, I could be quite happy with that. I've created some chances. He had a bit more possession. His passing is a bit weak. I've had some good shots. Nothing, you know, nothing too creative. I've got in behind quite a lot. And I think defensively, I've played really, really well. This is probably the best defensive game I've had against him. Like I said, the first game was 8-0. The second game was 7-0. We're 2-0 here at half time, And he scored in 3 and 12. And it, it could potentially have been a whitewash, you know. Um, it could potentially have been a game that was 5, 6, 7 goals by, uh, by half time. But we, we've done a good job in keeping it low and uh, we're doing a decent enough job in trying to get into the game you know I'm, I'm not trying to I'm not trying to lie down here and, and just get beat without giving anything myself one goal would be nice um, it's probably not gonna I know I read that I fucking read that that is horrendous behavior EA oh god damn I should have just cleared that shouldn't I and that's where it's just clinical look at that that is just amazing play that is just amazing like you just can't defend against it what does he do? I'll, I'll check. I'll check that goal out again after the uh, after the after the game's over. But it's at times absolutely impossible to defend against him. Um, biting like that is is no good. There we go, Maxwell. That's what I like to see. And we've got in behind there again. Who is it this time? It's uh, Douglas Costa. I oh, fuck. I did the skill move and the skill move just never came off. That's pretty bad. That's nice, Maxwell. Oh, I pressed the pass button, EA. I swear, guys, I'm actually getting like screwed out a little bit here. Like, obviously, I'm, I'm nowhere near as good a player as Gorilla. But that second goal that he had was a bit cheese. 
uh, you know, the keeper getting a hand to it, but nothing coming of it. Um, the, uh, so, some of my chances that haven't really gone anywhere, a little bit disappointing, like the, the chances that I feel like could potentially have uh, done stuff with. But we've got another chance here. It's going to fall to him. Oh, the keeper has managed to get it back, and we've had another opportunity there to potentially put the ball in the back of the net, and nothing good has come from it. And he, he keeps doing this thing, and I've noticed it in the last game as well, and I, I didn't really uh, get much out of it this game. We're through there with Diego. I can't do it. Um, when I get into an, a, a position where I could put a through ball in, he auto-selects his centre-back and bombs him forward. And it's really discouraging to see as, as like a... as when you're attacking because all you see is a centre-back start running at you and his midfield stays in the same place. So it makes it kind of like really difficult to do anything with. Yeah, I knew he was going that way. I just uh, couldn't get there in time. But um, it, yeah, it just makes it really difficult to, to, to do anything and judge anything. All, all that you really have is a through ball. And obviously, I don't want to be hitting a through ball when I feel like I've got a better opportunity. That wasn't supposed to be a shot. That was supposed to be me like pushing into him and... and uh, and trying to, uh, trying to attack him a little bit, I guess. And that should be the keeper's ball. Not too bad. We've got a runner down the bottom here. Oh, God. Julio Cesar, what are you doing? There we go. We'll take, we'll take an, easy, uh, an easy save there. Oh, my God. I'm not even aiming it. To, that's two throws in a row where it's gone nowhere that I aimed it. That is a great tackle from Douglas Costa. And I get... Oh, my God. I didn't mean to press the shoot button there either. I'm trying to, uh, I'm trying to just press the circle button to, like hit him a little bit, like, you know, push him, edge him out of the way, uh, shoulder him or whatever, and um, it's just not working. It's just not working. That's a lovely tackle from Bayano. I probably should have taken the free kick there, but never mind. I'm not going to get there, am I? I'm not. And it's, it's that... See what he did there with Matuidi? Obviously, it's easy because he's, he's done it. Usually, what he does there isn't that little drag back thing. Usually, what he does there is he'll cut inside with a ball roll or that step over. But he changes it up so much. He has three things that he does a lot. He does the, the heel to, sorry, four things. The heel to heel flick, the ball roll, the step over there, or the drag back. And he rotates between them. He doesn't do the same thing like multiple times. He doesn't do it like pretty much more than like once or twice. So it's, it's impossible nearly to guess, assume, or know what he's going to do. And that just makes it really difficult for me to do anything defensively because I don't know which way he's going to go when he gets the ball, you know? And I, my players just aren't controlling these balls. It's, it's really bad. Um, let's see if we can get out here. We've got a runner. We haven't got a runner. We don't need a runner. We just need Maxwell. Okay, apparently Lacazette's got that. That's a great tackle from Mike. And having the five defenders has definitely helped. Uh, I'm not... Obviously, I'm... Just inside, EA. Inside. I've got... I'm, I'm already under the pressure here. I'm already, like, having problems against me. All I want to do is to play that inside, and uh, I'm aiming that. Whoever that just went to there, that's where I aimed that ball. Oh my god, my passing is horrendous. I don't know actually how I'm, I'm managing to get some passes off, but um, my players just don't don't seem like they want to uh, want to pick up the loose ball. And I feel like he might be on defensive or potentially like ultra defensive because his players are like really really deep like look at where he is now he's he's up at my box and he's got three players all the way back um that's signs of somebody who's scared you know that's signs of somebody who just is too scared to play against me and, and doesn't want it basically and that, that you know that makes me uh obviously very happy and Bayano is going to whip that ball in nothing doing and I'm happy that I've kept this score line down um I'm happy that I've created a few chances obviously scoring a goal would have been nice uh, it's not always going to be uh, easy. I, I don't think he's played any less to his ability. I actually made some changes to the team, like I say, rather than going four back, I went five back. Um, having the uh, the added defender could potentially have been uh, huge for me. And um, I think I've got a little bit lucky in a few of his attacks as well. But in general, I'm quite happy with uh, I'm quite happy with my performance here. He'll probably go and score like three goals in the 90th minute now or some shit to to just screw me. But uh, my defence, I've probably put in more tackles this game than in any other game I've ever put tackles in before. I must be approaching like 30... That's not a foul ref. That's not a foul, that's not a foul ref. That's not a foul ref. I must be approaching like 30 tackles, which is uh, quite obscene. Um, I wonder if he goes for a direct free kick here. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, no, he's going to do the little run again. So I'm just going to have to back off. I'm going to wait for the run, and then I'm going to try and attack the ball. So when he runs down here, so here's where I'm going to attack the ball. There we go. We've got the ball perfect. And uh, let's see if we can get a, a nice little outplay here as well. Raphael. I, can't, I just, I can't. I try, I try what he tries. I do, I do what he does. 
and uh, it just doesn't seem to cause any effect. And there's a fourth goal. Um, it's been coming, not going to lie. It's been coming, but fair, you know, fair play. Like, he's, he's the best in the world for a reason. And I'm actually quite disappointed that I let myself go in the other game that I played against him in because I could potentially have done better than losing 7-0 in that game. And, uh, you know, it had, had I taken a couple of four, you know, 3 0 and a 4 0 loss, I would have been really happy. But a 7 0 loss in the first game, quite disappointing. Uh, fair play to Gorilla. Obviously, he's, he's just an exceptional player. And I want to look at one of his goals there as well. Um, just, I think, the second goal. So, I, you know, I've reduced him to 53% possession. His shoot, like, see where he takes his shots from? That's the difference between, like, me and him. Like, where I like when I play on my team against regular people, let alone play at, like professional players and stuff, my shots are from all over the place. His shots are shots that you just expect to score every time. If he has a shot, an opportunity for a long shot, like with the free kicks, what he says is he has a higher percent of chance of playing that uh, that kind of free kick where he makes the runners off and pass it into the box than he does from taking a free kick and scoring. And that's one of the biggest differences. But I think I did all right there, only losing four nil. Not too bad, is, isn't it? Isn't it a sad day when you only losing 4-0 is, is the problem for you? So this first goal here, I wanted to show this. What he does here with Ben Arfa, um, it's, it's so simple in what it is. And especially when you watch it, all he's done here is done a Rabona fake. He's dragged it back. He's waited for the defenders to come out, dragged it back again, and then had the shot. It's so simple in what it is, but it's so effective. Um, and then I, I got really unlucky here. He took a long shot. The keeper saved it. Maxwell, for some reason, backed away from the ball. He takes another shot, the keeper gets his hand to it and parries it into the net. That's really unfortunate and could potentially have not been a goal. He then gets another goal with Ben Arthur. Um, ball roll, stop, like this, just magic. It's Honestly, it's just magic. What, the way you look at it, the way, the way he reads the defenders, it's, it's just, it's too good. It's, I, honestly, I can't defend it. I'm not good enough. I'll never be good enough to be able to defend stuff like that. And then he scores with Griezmann, a simple fake shot. That's really poor defending from me. Um, I could have probably brought the keeper out a bit earlier. I bit on the fake shot. I could have, what I should have done is drag Thiago Silva back, and usually I would do that. That's just really bad defending from my part. But fair play to Gorilla. Obviously, you know, best player in the world for a reason. Um, only losing 4 0 here is not too bad. Could have been a hell of a lot worse. But this is going to be the end of the video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully, you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. I'm out. Peace.